All right, welcome back everyone to Self Principle. As always, I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi. Now today's topic is all about muscle and memory. What the heck is a link? Well, there's an interesting study out that was published in the Journal of Diabetes Complication. And what they looked at was specifically to answer this question in type two diabetics. So the researchers recruited about 453 participants who all had type two diabetes. This is from the SMART 2D trial. If you're really curious, the SMART 2D stands for Singapore Study of Macroangiopathy and Microvascular Reactivity in Type 2 Diabetes. That's a mouthful. Now, in this study, they basically were looking at what is the effect of changes in skeletal muscle on things like memory function. So they use a very standardized way of measuring memory function, which was the R bands, which is a repeatable battery for the assessment of neuropsychological status. Long story short, it's a standardized way of looking at different markers of memory decline. They also looked at bioimpedance to be able to measure things like uh, body fat and skeletal muscle mass and so forth. And they followed these participants for about 6.4 years. Now, what they found was that in the cohort that was over the age of 65 years old, the more the muscle mass they lost, the more they had cognitive decline. But when they looked at folks that were under 65, that difference was not there. Why should you care? The reason this is important is because you want to make sure that part of your exercise habits shouldn't just be cardio, but it should be strength training. And it doesn't matter how old you are whether in your teens, whether in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, doesn't matter. You want to build those really healthy habits around exercise, strength training, and cardio to have that lean muscle mass to support all sorts of things with your bone health, your organ health, and now we're finding with your brain health. Interestingly, if you're under 65, even though there wasn't any changes here, keep in mind, it is really hard to see cognitive decline in under 65, it can be very, very subtle and could be missed. Even then, you are never too early or too late to start to do strength training. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.